Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hands with you. Angela, anything you said, it will be held against you in the court. I take the fifth. Hello, everyone. This is Anna. Hi, she, guys. She's our new co-worker. She just joined EK. She's a project manager for a lot of important stuff. But we also have to teach her about the basics of how to build a PC. So, Anna, what do you know about PCs? Um, I know nothing okay. about PCs, but I am. I have faith that you will teach me. Do you use a Mac? Yes, I do. Leave the room. <laughs> kidding. Uh, kidding. Uh, we will try to teach you everything about personal computers, aka PCs, and how they are built. And basically, the point which we want to go out with is that you are able to assemble a PC on your own. We will start with the basics. So a PC consists of a motherboard, a CPU, graphics card goes into the GPU slot. This is the GPU slot there, but we will get to that later. Good. <laughs> as late as possible works for me. <laughs> so these are the RAM slots. RAM stands for High school was a long time ago. Random access memory. Yeah. Right. That's yes. RAM, yeah. Yes. Those go in here, and the CPU should go in there. Now. What's a CPU? I mean, I. The CPU is a central processing unit. Okay. That's the thing that calculates everything that appears on your screen. Okay. So, based on the CPU, you decide how much computing power does your PC have. Okay. So you can have a high-end motherboard, which have these fancy heat sinks. Okay. Or you can have a really cheap motherboard, which will look more flat. All right. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that we will try to do with you is that you install the CPU inside the CPU socket. This is called the CPU socket. Lovely. <laughs> Not a sock, a socket. A <laughs> socket, okay. Socket, yes. And uh, no pressure. This motherboard costs 650 euros-ish. The CPU is 260. All right. A quick history lesson. This is an AMD platform. AMD CPUs before had pins on the CPU, so you had little pins like sticking out, mm -hmm. and you could very easily bend them. This is the latest generation of the AMD CPUs. It's an AM5 socket. Right. Which means that there's no pins here, and you can't damage this. You can okay. touch it. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> but the downside of it is that you have 1,718 pins in there. Uh -huh. And if you touch them, or if you drop the CPU in it, it gets bent, Okay. and the motherboard is kind of dead. Oh, so it doesn't yeah. work at all? No, Yeah. so it's dead. Okay. Now, here, there's a small triangle. Right, and there's a small triangle right See? here. I didn't even <laughs> tell her that shit. And she knew, yeah. So, now the socket is open. Okay, okay. Like that. And now you put in the CPU without bending any of the pins, without dropping the CPU. Is, is there a way, like, how uh, to... One more thing, you have these little notches here and here. Right, okay. And, and you have the triangle marking. You okay. also, also have the triangle here. Yeah. You also have the triangle there. So you just like this, put it inside the slot there, and so like all at once, or yeah, like oh. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. So I close it now. Yeah. Or you close it down, and now okay. you do the clippy clippy thing, which you oh the the yeah, thingy yeah yeah. 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 Oh, it's not working. But you just just Can force I press it. it? But yeah yeah. You can use both hands. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So Anna okay. just installed a CPU. That's, Good job. This is one of the dangerous parts where you can drop the CPU inside. Even if you're a professional and, and you're doing this for years, it can happen that you drop something in it. Okay. So this is the only part when you really have to be focused and be patient and put the CPU in. So, okay, it wasn't that difficult. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Well, welcome. Uh, do you want to go on to the next part? Sure. We will now try to install a CPU block. First, we have to find one. Right. A few moments later. Okay. 
and you can now maybe try to explain why this doesn't fit here. Uh, well, I would appreciate if you would have told me where exactly these uh, ah, okay. pins needs to fit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so what do you think where those pins should go? What pins? Sorry. Oh, this? This is a backplate. Okay. Which is installed on the block. Oh, okay, yeah, they go yeah, here, right? Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Cool. And now, but this one's too big then. It's not the right shape. Yeah, well, that's what I said. Yes. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so so now we have to find the right CPU block for this motherboard. Like I said, this is an AM5 from AMD. It is like Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Right. You have AMD and you have Intel. One is preferred by some people and the other is preferred by other people. It's basically the same. They are competing and this one is for an Intel and we have an AMD. It I know you did here, not AMD. just go there and say Coca-Cola and Pepsi are the same. <laughs> We can say apple juice and uh, strawberry juice. So I'm gonna go find the CPU block and we'll try to install it. All right. But the basics, we have a CPU installed. We can also get some RAM. Okay, wait, wait. while we're here. Okay, so we're, we're not using this thing. We're not using right. that thing okay. because it doesn't fit. All right. It's the wrong shoe size. Okay. How much shoes can you buy on the price of this motherboard? Half a shoe. Okay, okay. <laughs> One shoe. Okay. Now, these are the RAMs. Okay. Like I said, random access memory. This is short-term memory. Everything that is stored short-term, so like, like a buffer brain for the, the uh, computer to work. And you have the long-term memory, which is the hard drive, SSD, where you save your files, photos, uh, stuff like that. Right. So just a short run-up of what is what. These go inside these four slots. They all have a groove in the middle. Mm -hmm. And if the RAM is not compatible, then this groove doesn't align with that groove there. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. Why is the RAM not compatible? Because you have a long line of history of PCs. You had DDR RAM, and then you had DDR2, and then you had DDR3, and then you had DDR4, and you have DDR5, but this is D DDR4. Okay. And for users to be able to have a fail-safe system, that's how they make these things, so that if it's not compatible, you, you can't put it in. It's, it's the, the same as the block, but if it's not compatible, you can't put it on. So, so if we put it simply, right? Because yes. I'm, I want to know, like, yeah. short-term memory and long-term memory. Yeah. What are the things that are stored in the short-term memory? It, but just like tell it to, like say to me, like simply. You know what I mean? Like when I'm using my Mac. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What are the things that are stored in, in a, a short-term short -term memory. memory? When you're using Google Chrome, right? this is the thing that you need a lot. Okay. Because Google Chrome stuffs everything in there when you have millions of tabs of shoes and stuff like that. Right. Then it stuffs it in here. And when you close the Chrome browser, then everything empties out. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I have a <laughs> You need to upgrade to a PC. Okay, great. Let's do this. Yeah. So I already opened these clips, but some motherboards have clips on both sides. Okay. Some have only on one. So you unclip them and you try to fit one of these RAMs inside the slot. Spoiler alert. Okay. These stickers usually go on this on the inside, so on the left side. Oh, thank you for telling me. Yeah, that's a free tips. Yeah, you're actually a really nice yeah. guy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> All right, so I can't. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it. No, it's not. It's that's not good. working. That's really no, good. It's not, but it's not. Look, yeah. it's not the correct size. See, like, shouldn't. She knows better than me. No, it's not the correct size. That is, that's not the correct size. Let us try flipping it. This is DDR4. This is DDR4. Do you need oh. some lessons? Yes, I do. <laughs> I can give you some lessons. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, Anna just pointed out that this is an AM5 and it's using DDR5. I have to get some DDR5. Be right back. 
My bad. Well, guys, this was it for today. <laughs> My bad. Did you bring the right item? Yes, I did. I did it on purpose. I check if you would oh, notice. I'm right. So now I have the right RAM. It also has the stickers, like I said. Right. And now you can try the same procedure. All right. Let's see if this one... Wrong. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Look, it fits perfectly. Yeah, so here you have to force it, like really be forceful and, okay. and grab it with two hands and just push it down until it clips. Or, yeah, that's it. Oh my that's God. it. That's it. Sounds like it broke. It didn't. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. All right. So should I try all of them? Yeah. Or yeah. yeah can this thing function if not all of them are in here? Uh, actually, if only one RAM is not seated correctly, it will not work properly. At all? At all. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You can usually notice when you install all of the RAMs and you see that one's like not flat as the others. And now you can see that this this clip here is not exactly the same as these. Okay. Two. So I need to shove it in. Oh. Shovel, yeah, that, that's it. That's, okay. That's it. And I'm off to find a CPU block. Hopefully I can find an AM. Oh, I have CPU another block. one. Oh crap. Uh, why have I okay. chosen? Here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna have a problem. Are we almost done? I mean, is, is this supposed to work anytime soon? <laughs> Not any, anytime soon because this is just the motherboard. Right. We found a CPU block, which you can bring that one back. So this is an Intel. Right. Whenever you see mounting holes, mounting points, which are square, so equal distance, it's an Intel. Whenever you see that it's a rectangle, yes. a rectangle, it's AMD. The interesting thing about the differences between the current most popular AMD platform is that the motherboard has the backplate, this, as a part of the motherboard. Okay. It's fixed there, it's on there with screws then you can take it off. The Intel one, EK produces the backplate. Okay. And you take it off. So this one doesn't have the backplate the bag yes. thingy. Okay. Backplate. Th backplate. Yeah. Backplate. So this one has a backplate. The AM5 doesn't have it because it's already on the motherboard. So just to clarify some things, if it was an Intel, you would put it on, flip it over, and then do the rest but now since it's on we just move on directly to the mounting process all right well, let's go so i guess you can hit the holes with these pins just like flip it on there okay should uh, i try to run the cable so that it doesn't get stuck between the cpu does it matter if it's like this or like this uh if you ask us it matters a lot well, I'm asking you. <laughs> I would appreciate some assistance here, buddy. But do you know why? No. Because of the EK badge should be the right way up. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Brandy, okay, well, Brandy. that's a Brandy. reason good enough. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing like this? Yes. This is also much easier to do if the RAM is not in. What? Where's the... Oh, this? Yeah. Okay. So why are we not... Why didn't we do this first? My mistake. Okay. Also, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's wait, just good wait, to know wait, that wait, you wait. make mistakes too, yes, so I'm not the yes. only one. Uh, if we want to do this right, we should apply some thermal paste here. There. What? Thermal paste. So, thermal paste is like putting oil in your pan. Right. Because Why would you put oil in a computer? <laughs> because it's a thermal paste. It just serves a purpose that the heat from the CPU gets to the cooling block more efficiently. Is this not going to damage the motherboard? No. I mean, it's, it's a paste. Yes. Okay, show me. But you put a small dot on there. Right. Let me find one. There. Oh, there it is. There it is. Well, it has to have a certain amount of moist in it or something, yes. right? It's not so... Moist it's... good. <laughs> okay, we want... Oh, yes. never mind. 
So you open the cappy and you put a P side dot in the middle of the P. CPU. So P side. P, P size. A Here. Bit. Yes. This doesn't good look enough, too good. good. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> P is bigger than that. I'm <laughs> sorry. De <laughs> depends which P. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Yeah, keep it moving. <laughs> so now you gently place the CPU over those well, holes. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to... I suggest that you run the cable like there. Okay. Yeah, something like that. That's not going to work. If you think that the RAM is not helping you, you can take it out. Well, I'm just afraid I'm going to break something because I don't really see where the holes are. That's it. Is it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So now you place your hand on the CPU block. Right. Left hand is better, yeah? And you flip the whole thing around while still pressing the CPU block against the motherboard so that it doesn't fall off. Ow. Yes. <laughs> you did it on purpose, didn't no, you? I didn't. Yeah, yes, you did. Okay. Okay. Are you still it's holding gonna it? Fall out. It's gonna freaking fall out. I think it's falling out. And now you take the screwdriver. Oh, what was the screw? <laughs> that's that was very good because we have okay the mounting pins already on it, but those have small torque sockets. And now you reach in through these holes and you twist counterclockwise. Counterclock. Okay, but how do I know if this is actually, you know, if I, I don't think I placed it the right way. Right. See, if that, it's not in there. You know, it moved. Okay. Wait, let me help. Is this gonna be a problem now? Nope. Okay. I mean, most people would bitch and say, now you have to reapply it because you need a perfect spread. There's a whole science on the internet behind what's the best way to apply thermal paste. Okay. So now, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Okay. So now if you look at it like that, right. now you'll be able to place it there. And you'll be also able to hold oh it. Oh God. This sucks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go, I think I got it. So how do you know if it's in there or not? It just has to sit on the top of the tread, just like it is now. And now we'll try to again flip it, hold it there. Left hand, right? It's whatever makes you comfortable to apply enough pressure so that it doesn't fall off and move. Crap. Cool. Okay, I'm just going to hold it like yeah, this, like just this. in case, yeah? And now you reach into the small holes and you do one of it and then you move in an X. That's better. But okay. And counterclockwise, right? Yes. It is counterclockwise because it's all flipped now and we have to make the screws go in. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you feel that it's like... Yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. Oh. We left there. <laughs> How is it going? Uh, it's going great, I Good. think. Yeah. Um, should I like screw it all the way or...? Not necessary. If we would be putting the PC together, then we would go full stop. But if you now flip it and it doesn't fall off, mission I don't successful. Wanna, I don't want to risk it because I'm going to have to put it in there again. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. Also, uh, don't hurry. Uh, just make sure that the screwdriver is seated all the way in so that you don't strip the screw heads. Oh, now you're telling me. Okay, well, that ship has sailed, buddy. <laughs> so now it's right. on. Here we go. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Now you have a CPU block mounted. The reason why you were doing that is because the CPU block has to have sufficient pressure on the CPU so that the contact is the best it can be. Okay. So that it will transfer heat the best as it can. The purpose of the thermal paste is to there are micro imperfections on the surface and mm -hmm. there are micro imperfections also on the, the CPU. I have a blog post which I've written six years ago where I took... Six years ago, six, people, yeah. Seven. <laughs> where, where, where I took photos 
with a magnifying lens of the, the CPU surface mm -hmm. and it's like little bumps and right. the point of the paste is to fill all these small bumps and to make the best heat transfer from the CPU to this piece here. We talked about force. So several years ago, every CPU block on the market was made like this. How many years ago? Long. Six, seven. Oh, when you wrote that blog post. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So all of the CPU blocks were designed like this. You had the spring from the outside. Big spring. Let me compare it. Okay, what's the difference? See, oh. there are no springs. Oh, you're talking about this yes, thingy. Yes, okay. Yes. So these are the springs which make the uh, uh, CPU block adhere to the CPU so okay. that it transmits heat. Here at EK, we were the first one who ever did it on the market that we put the springs inside the block so that it looks nicer. Does it look nicer? It definitely does, but it's also super heavy. Is yes. this one heavy too? Yes. I mean, no. This one's heavy because inside this you have a pump as well. Okay, all right. Yes. And that one doesn't have a pump at all? No, this is just the CPU block which will take off heat from the, the CPU and put it inside the liquid cooling loop. But we'll talk about liquid cooling loops later. Yes, okay. Also, on the bottom of that you have some liquid metal which you should not touch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. too late. <laughs> Oh, I was about to ask you if we're supposed to put that thingy on here, but I guess, yeah. Yeah. What's this? Alcohol. Not for drinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you wipe your nose with this? Nope. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll use it. So this doesn't come off if you just wash your hands, like without alcohol or what? This probably can, but it is going to take a lot, lot longer. So. All right. You can now put back the RAM if you want to. And you have a successfully mounted CPU and a CPU block. And it's ready to go inside a case. Well, what about this? What are we doing with this? This one is just a variation of this. I've just brought it here because the, with this one, you can see the springs. Right. And, and, and with this one, you can. You could also see the springs on this one, but it's already in. Okay, so these three are actually the same thing. I mean, you yes. know what I mean. Like yes. The purpose yes. of the purpose, usage is yes. the same. But, okay. but that one also has a pump in it. Why do I need a pump in it? Good question. <laughs> do you know how car cooling systems work? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> sure, I do. Probably not. <laughs> Nope, uh, I have no idea. Uh, cars, a very long time ago, were cooled by air. Okay. So you had a big fan blowing at the engine and that, that's it. Then someone came along and said, we should cool the engine with liquid. All right, okay. Water. That's why when you do your service, it's good to look at the coolant level. Right. So, with a car cooling, you have a... Oh my God, it never ends with... <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh my God, Jesus. You have a radiator at the front of the, the car, right? I have a radiator? Yes, you have a radiator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where... Unless you're driving an EV. No, but where the hell is the radiator? It's... it's inside the hood? Yes. Okay. It's inside the hood, you have a radiator. Okay. Next to the radiator, you also have a fan. Okay. The fan is there that in case you're stationary at the traffic light that it can blow air through the radiator, but naturally when you drive the car, air goes through the radiator and cools the coolant. Right. You have a water pump. Let me find it. Oh find. Christ. Yeah, <laughs> science. So you're trying to tell me that these are the same, like a car and the computer or mo motherboard or whatever the More or less the same. Oh my God. Am I doing this combo? the right way? Combo? Not, not, not combo? combo? What are you looking for? I'm looking for a pump. Is this not, this is not the right one, it's right? Not, no, it's not the right one. Ah, great. Those are the right one. Lovely. The right one. 
make this hazard free. Okay, so I guess we're doing this. Okay. You can move the thing out of the way if it's... What thing? This thing. Oh, the radiator? The radiator. <laughs> the, the heat exchanger. So you put this on the computer? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so what, what are you doing right now? I'm trying to show you a pump. Okay. It's a pump that is used in your car. Your car has a pump, which is then circulating the coolant to the cooling system. Right. You also have what's called the engine block. The engine block has all the components in it, like pistons and stuff like that. Okay. And around the pistons, you have grooves where water is going so that it, it would take heat away from the engine so that it doesn't melt or explode. That's the equivalent of the CPU block or the G GPU block. When did you learn all this? This is crazy. This Ki sounds like so much work. Kindergarten. Oh, Christ. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's comforting. Why is this not working? You need to use more force. I know we moved on from this already, okay. but this is giving me a headache. I swear to God. Okay. That's it? Wait. Clickety click. So, yeah. just like with the car, you have a radiator, you have a fan, you have a block which would pick up heat. Okay. You have a pump which would spin and circulate coolant. The same way you have it with a PC. So you would have a block which would pick up the heat from the CPU. Which thing here is the engine of a car? <laughs> the CPU and the GPU is kind of the engines. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Um, you have tubes. Do you need help? Uh, oh, I guess not. <laughs> okay. There. This is a PC. This is a, a liquid cooled PC. Right. And which parts do you see familiar here? Uh, okay, I guess this thingy. Yeah. Is the, the, this the, the same thingy? thingy what do you yeah. call it again? CPU block. CPU block. Okay. Yeah. CPU water block is the. CPU water block. Is, okay. Yeah. Lovely. This is the GPU water block. We don't have it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. There's the pump. This? Yes. Radiator one. Oh, I know what a radiator is. <laughs> radiator two. Okay. So this has two ra radiators. Okay, and this? And fans. Yeah. This one. And, okay. We don't have this one, right? Because we don't need it? That's also a CPU block, but right. a different product line of CPU blocks. Okay. And then you have the tubes, which get the coolant through the CPU block and away from it, mm -hmm. and then inside the, the GPU block and away from it, and then inside the, the radiator, so it gets cooled down and it's circulating ever and forever. Does this have the liquid in it already or no? No, this is empty. This, so, is, this is not So filled. the liquid would be here? Yes. Okay. Any questions about the liquid cooling crash course? <laughs> uh, can we do it all over again? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, you know, if if I have your directions, I think hmm? I'm not as bad at it as I would have been by myself. No, you, ah, what ah. did we say about this sticker on the RAM? It should be on the inside? Is it not? Oh, wow. Oh. That's why it's not working. It, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. Click, there's click, the, click. the last one, right? Yeah. Okay. And you have one clip which that doesn't look like the rest of the clips. All right, all right. I got it. I'll fix it. Let me see. Which one? This one. Yeah. Push it. Push. Ah! Push. That's it. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're done. That's it. Great, guys. Are we done? <laughs> we have a successfully mounted CPU. We have applied thermal placed, 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 yeah, thermal paste successfully. That was my favorite part <laughs> and the easiest too. Yeah. Uh, we have installed a CPU block, water block. We have installed the RAM and we haven't damaged anything. Like, oh. <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of myself. You, you, you see, it is very easy. You just have to follow some basic steps. 
uh, you have to have some interest in hardware and that's it. We have also <laughs> run through the basics of liquid cooling, but we will continue this in an elaborated video with more stuff. We have also learned that you don't touch li liquid metal. Yeah, that thingy thing more, you don't touch. <laughs> more on that in the in the upcoming episode. Absolutely. It was my pleasure. Yeah? Thank you so much for do, your help. Do you, do you have any questions? Like I do. I have a ton and okay. I want to do it all over again because I think I just forgot everything. So we're going <laughs> to have to do it all over again. Forgot. But I had a lot of fun doing okay, it. Cool. And thank you so much for welcome. your help. I appreciate welcome, it. Welcome. High five. Up top. There we go. <laughs>